What's up, y'all? It's Dilk back again with another video, and this week's video is gonna be like a week in my life. I got a bunch of things planned. Just for some highlights, I gotta go to Baton Rouge to get my taxes done. I made enough last year to where now I could pay somebody to do my taxes. Rather than me, you know, I'm not knowledgeable and all that type of stuff. So yeah, I'm not trying to get audited, go to jail, pay all them fees and shit. So yeah, I'm gonna just have somebody else do it for me. And I booked the studio for the photo shoot for the flannel that I'm releasing in a couple weeks. So yeah, a lot of good stuff to get to. Today is Saturday now. I just got a cut. Your boy is fresh. I can retire the hat for a couple weeks now. That's like my favorite part after getting a cut, just retiring the hat because wearing the hat every single day it's just it gets too redundant me and my girl are supposed to go to a food festival called nola night market but she's sick in bed right now gonna be on my keith lee type of vibe just gonna grab the food come back to the car ain't trying to socialize none of that just grab my food and get going i hope the lines are gonna be too long usually when it's me and nikki you know we would split up grab the food that we need so it could be like super efficient but you know it's just gonna be me today so Hopefully it's not too bad, so let's get going. First, let me break down the outfit for you guys. Keeping it simple today, the rework flannel on top with a blank tee. And for the bottoms, we got the turtle dove gray swirlies. And for the shoes, we got the Sean Witherspoon gazelle. So yeah, keeping the light flannel and the shoes work well together. And then the gray color of the pants kind of toned down the whole fit. So yeah, solid fit for the day. All right, y'all, food is secured. All right, y'all, spent around a little bit over 100 bucks, I think. We got some Korean fried chicken, some Japanese sandos, and we got some sushi tacos. A lot of the food was open trays, so, like, my hands were full. But shout out to Sando Itchy, they ended up giving me, like, to-go boxes, so put a lot of the food in here. And luckily, I brought my bag, so it was easy to carry everything. But yeah, gonna go home, show you guys what I got. If Nikki has the appetite, we'll eat it together, and we'll rate it for you guys. If not, I'll do my own little food review for y'all. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna eat first is probably chicken wings. <clears throat> I think this is the sweet and spicy Korean fried chicken. Love the texture of the skin. The wings are kind of small though, but gets the job done. Fourteen dollars for six wings though. That's crazy. You gotta clean off your chicken wings, man. I hate when motherfuckers don't eat all their food. Next up, we got the soy garlic wing. The soy garlic one is really good. If I had to rank them, I'd say uh, nine out of ten. Next up, I'm gonna try the lobster tempura sushi taco. The rice on the outside or whatever this thing is on the outside is not crispy. It's kind of soggy right now, but you know we're eating it to go, so I have to do. Kind of don't taste nothing but sauce. You know what I'm saying? It's too saucy, I feel like. It's like greasy as hell. Lobster kind of bland, like on its own. And you know, all the extra sauce, I feel like the sauce kind of makes up for the blandness of the lobster. So it's, it's all right. And I think that's like $18. Not worth it. Next up, we got the Bang Bang Shrimp Taco. And I had this before at the last market. And yeah, this was really good. I'd say this was like a 10 the last time I had it. Shrimp is big, juicy, saucy. Yeah, this is a 10 for sure. Now we got the spicy truffle chicken katsu Japanese sando. Chicken is like like a buffalo type of sauce. Not that big of a fan of buffalo, so it's whatever. Bread is good though. I like I'm a I'm a fan of bread. I like thick bread. So yeah, bread is good. I say this is about a seven. Alright, for dessert, now we're gonna eat the fruit salad sando. Thick bread, like I like it. I hear that shit. Looks like we have pineapple right here, kiwis, strawberries, and a grape. The cream that they use or like the cream that they make. Super sweet, but it's not like a bad super sweet. The fruit tastes fresh as well. And you know, like I said, the thick bread, I like bread. So yeah, this is like a 10. And the other one I got is just strawberry. So, you know, this will taste good as well. But yeah, that's it for Saturday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope y'all it's Sunday, Sunday fun day. What I'm about to start doing is start unpacking the flannels. Got like six boxes to go through right here. If you guys didn't know, I designed a seven piece fabric flannel right here. The colors are crazy on this, even though there's some loud colors in this, like the blues and the reds. I feel like when you combine them together, I feel like the colors complement well together. And then we also had the Tom Survivor chain stitch embroidery right here as well. Before I start unpacking that, I want to show you guys one of my latest pickups. So all my life, 24 years, I never had a bed frame. So I saw one on Facebook Marketplace. It was the Floyd bed frame. So I thought, why not pick it up? Usually retails for like a thousand bucks, but I got it for around like 400. As y'all can see, it fits pretty perfectly. It looks really good. Now the bed's elevated and I'm not sleeping on the floor no more. You know what I'm saying? I do eventually want to get a headboard and like another panel down here as well. I like the Japanese style whenever it's like more frame than bed. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's start unpacking. Let me show you guys how I quality check new items. All right, y'all. So the first thing I do is basically I look at the product itself, make sure there's no loose threads, make sure it looks like the final product that it's supposed to be after that i go through each size and i look at my tech pack size chart and i compare to make sure that the sizing is correct just in case you know talk back to the manufacturer ask what happened here and there make sure everything is thorough and correct for you know the customers whenever they get it and just a tip for you guys as well due to your pieces being cut and sewn and people are actually doing it by hand measurements will never be exactly 
based off of like your size. So there'll always be a one to three centimeter error and that's normal. After I check off all the measurements for the flannel, now I'm getting ready to put them in my own bag. So that's me now setting up my desk to get comfortable, make sure I got my stickers, make sure I got the frosted bags and make sure I label the correct size for each bag and you know, each flannel. Currently just started watching Avatar now. So I put that on the side and you know, now it's time to get to work. All right, you guys about to take a break and eat dinner. Mickey's eating some Costco ramen. We got some leftover wings from yesterday, and I'm eating some Costco. And I'm Costco. eating some. And I'm eating some Costco. Costco. I'm eating. <laughs> and I'm eating some Costco. Michael, what? You're trying to say what is, Katsu. What, what is this? Costco. I'm eating Costco wonton soup. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm eating some Costco wonton soup. <laughs> and we're on episode five of the Avatar: The Last Airbender. But yeah, how do y'all feel about the show right now? If y'all been watching it, Avatar is literally the best Nickelodeon show. I would say it's in the top three category, along with like Drake and Josh and Zoe One Hundred One, or even Fairly Odd Parents, or even SpongeBob. But yeah, top five for show. So yeah, just watching this. Uh... It's cool to me. I feel like they chose good actors for the most part. What I don't like is the storyline of Boomy. I didn't like how Aang kind of already knew that that was Boomy. I like how in the cartoon they kind of like played it out in the way they ended up doing it. If y'all remember, I don't I don't want to even explain all that. But yeah, either way, better than I expected. I thought it was going to be on some weird shit. I think Zuko and Uncle Iroh's relationship and like their tandem is like carrying the show right now. But I really do like how like they're killing people in the show. It just brings more emotion. Like you kind of feel it more whenever you see like Katara's mom dying and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. My favorite part so far is whenever um Uncle Iroh is having flashbacks at his son's funeral and Zuko's there trying to like, comfort him. That that was a little sad part. And like the music playing in the background, just like how the, the show was whenever Uncle Iroh was singing. That was my favorite part. But yeah, I should finish within the next couple of days and I'll let you know my final thoughts. All right, y'all. So basically, yeah, you can already tell in my voice. I'm sick. Last night, you know, after dinner and all that, I just couldn't sleep. I basically stayed up all the way to like five, six o'clock. I had the shivers. I was cold. I was burning up. So yeah, it was a really bad night. And then it's like 12 p.m. right now. I was finally able to sleep from like nine to 12. But yeah, feeling terrible. But now I gotta go uh, drop off some carabiner orders real quick and then I can go grab some food and like soup and just some shit to make me feel better and hurt too. That'll start of the week. <coughs> <coughs> this is annoying. I had my uh, men's league basketball game tonight too. Now I gotta miss it. I wanted to pull up like a, a joint on some flu game stuff, but don't want to risk anybody getting sick as well. So. But yeah, I'm about to pack up the orders right now. Also, I'm packing up two flannels for our boys. Sylvester and Valentino, shout out to them. They're gonna be part of the little campaign rollout whenever I drop the flame over like a couple of weeks. What up y'all, it's Wednesday right now and as you can tell, I don't know if y'all can see it in my face or not, but y'all can hear it in my voice. I'm still feeling under the weather. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I have a fever. I have chills here and there. My throat is sore. It hurts when I cough. It hurts when I swallow. Stuffy nose, mouth dry, all that type of stuff. Monday night was really bad. I literally tried to go to sleep at 12 at night, and I wasn't able to sleep all the way until 7 o'clock in the morning. And then Tuesday, I just basically stayed in bed all day. And today's Wednesday, so I need to go to Baton Rouge because I already scheduled for me to do my taxes, so... I'll go do that right now and then tomorrow i already booked the studio for the photo shoot so gotta get that done as well so it's a bad week to be sick but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do all right y'all we're currently charging the car right now um i brought Hanji because we're about to go drop her off at mickey's mom's house look at my girl she's so pretty look at her new hair looks the same i cut it shorter Perks of being an influencer. Free hair. But, um, yeah. Shout out to Nikki's mom, too. She made us some, uh, basically some soup to help us get better. So, it's like rice porridge. Rice wow. porridge, aka chow. So, yeah, gonna go get some of that, too. Her mom's been on some, like, baking and cooking type of shit, on, like, some Nara Smith type shit, like, on TikTok. We taught her how to make TikToks, too. So, yeah, now she's gonna start posting cooking videos because she wants to make money, you know. So that's cool. Made some kind of fancy French bread. She made some more crumble cookies. This is her Chinese donut. And this is the rice porridge that she made.
All right, y'all, let me break down the, like, the whole tax situation thing with like the CPA whenever I went to him. So I went to him because that was the guy that Nikki's uh, mom goes to. And so, you know, he helps her, stuff like that. So I thought, well, you know, I made more money last year. So, you know, it's better to have like, a professional do it for me so, so I don't get audited and fined and, you know, all that bullshit. So when we got there, he was using the same platform, like the same program that I was using whenever I did it for myself, which was tax act. Kind of red flag there is like, I thought he would be doing some other type of stuff. So all he did was get the numbers that I gave him, which was, you know, from my Excel, whenever I calculated everything, all he did was put those numbers into the program. And basically after that, that was it. I thought he was going to ask me questions to help like tax deduct more so that, you know, the income could be lower, but he didn't. All he did was just put my numbers into the thing. And that was about it. At the end of the day, I already knew what is able to be writing off like you know you could write off travel food you could write off inventory and all that i thought there was like some extra stuff or like some special stuff that he could do and in reality he couldn't or he didn't so basically i wasted 130 bucks because at the end of the day whenever i do it for myself the tax act program it costs like 130 i paid him 250 so i lost like that 130 right there in my time as well so yeah that was a waste um, I do think he's a good person for like people that don't understand like the knowledge of like tax or like what you could write off and stuff like that. And with him, you know, he's Asian. He's good for like the Asian people who don't know how to speak fluently and stuff like that. So he's able to translate easier. But yeah, again, for me, I'm already knowledgeable in like most of those aspects. So I didn't need nobody. So yeah, I mean, it's a good lesson to learn, you know. For now on, I could do it myself. I just got to do a better job at calculating everything more like earlier because what I, whenever I calculated, I did it like the day before. So I just got to be on top of it more. But other than that, it's simple. Shouts out to the mother-in-law. Now she's washing muscles to make muscle pasta. And this goofy motherfucker over here filming herself eating ASMR wise. Boom real. Shout out to my auntie. All right, yeah, we got the pasta. And we're watching the Lakers and Clippers game. I'm so fucking full right now. And I'm tired. And we gotta drive home after this. Started like 10 p.m. It's gonna take like an hour and a half to get home. Gotta wake up early tomorrow for the photo shoot too. But yeah, hopefully I get up on time tomorrow and you know, hopefully I start feeling a little bit better too. If not, if I don't end up feeling a little better the whole time there, we probably just gonna end up just taking pictures for the products instead of making all the content I need. So hopefully it all works out. Morning, y'all. About to head to the studio right now, but before we do, we need to go stop by Walmart to find some film for a little concept that we're doing. Still feeling sick, but not as bad as like a couple of days. Just now, I have like a sore throat and like you know coughing and sneezing, still snotty nose and all that. But I still feel like I have more energy now, so I should start feeling better in the next couple of days. At the studio, I wanted to make more content that I will be doing, but you know I'm kind of limited with the voice and all that, so it is what it is. All right, y'all. We're at the same studio we were at when we did the sweaty sweat shoot. I felt like me and Nikki are, took a lot of pictures in the flannel because we've been like previewing it for so long now. So I wanted a cool spot so I could take like cool product photos. So that's mainly what we're here for. But I wanted, like I said, I want to make a lot of content for like for TikToks and all that. But a voice is fuck with me, my body is a fuck with me. So I do the best I can here and do a lot of like the talking ones that I want to do just at home. So let's get going. Alright, y'all, studio session wrapped up. Now we're about to go get some like acai bowl. It's just to help out the fruit, the immune system type shit. And then go home and eat the home cooked meals that mother in law gave us. All right, y'all, just got home, worn out, but I was supposed to do the sample cell Friday, which is tomorrow. I didn't have time to like take the pictures of everything, so I'm about to hurry up and do that right now. And then end up just, uh, <coughs> excuse me, gonna end up just doing the sample cell probably on Sunday. So, I mean, obviously, y'all yeah, gonna see it's too late, but yeah. This is mainly like a warehouse sale. They have a bunch of samples here, like that's like swirly denim. The swirlies right here, they're kind of a little malfunctioned. Some of them have like too small of a little loop right here, or some don't have them at all. We got a one of one uh, sky blue zip up right there. We got some leftover blank tees. And we also got some sample lounge shorts from last year. All uh, the hoodie samples before I got to the perfect one. 
pictures of everything outside now i just gotta put it into the system post this like main photo here that shows kind of everything tomorrow for friday and yeah just release everything on sunday really excited though you know they got some unique pieces in here like that blue forever zip up double layered hoodies that people will enjoy so good to see them get a new home also we got one kanye t this is a size xl this is the last kanye t in existence that will be for sale for us you taking a shit on your clothes get up get up get your ass up oh my god bro your dirty booty get off they clothes yeah i'm gonna discount the prices even more this dog is filthy get your ass up man don't wag the ugly ass tail what's up y'all it's friday i've been pretty busy the whole day basically all the pictures that we took yesterday for like the sample sale i started like putting them into photoshop putting like a blank background on them now i've just been adding it to the site i totally forgot as well i had a special brown pair of swirly sweats it's kind of like a mocha brown the lighting is kind of making it look reddish but it's a mocha brown but the details on this one is is that they had the cream drawstrings that I thought about doing, but I never did. But yeah, about to finish this up within the next hour, or if I don't, I'll finish it tomorrow. Nikki already started like packing them up and just putting them in bags. Still got that box right there to do. Posted on Instagram and TikTok already too, and the engagement is doing pretty well on that, so I'm super excited. But yeah, just gonna continue working, and within the next hour, me and Nikki are about to go on a date. We're gonna go watch Dune 2. By the time you guys are watching this video, if you guys watched it already, comment down below your thoughts on the movie. I like the first movie. Nikki didn't really like the first movie. She thought it was kind of boring, but you know, I kind of like how the story was moving. I felt like the pacing was fine to me. Every single review I heard about Dune is like five stars, 10 out of 10. So yeah, I'm excited to watch it. We went to Trade Joe's earlier today, got a bunch of stacks. But yeah, should be a good time. Three our movie a little pushing it but again i'm excited and after the movie when we go back to the car i'll record my like first reactions to you guys and we'll see how uh we both feel about the movie Sheesh. all right y'all just got back home from the movies and oh, wow movie movie's phenomenal i did imax and i was like i think that was like my first movie watching imax and she was loud as hell. Nikki's head was hurting like the whole time, but we enjoyed it. Well, first of all, like visually, probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. Storytelling wise, I love the plot. Really excited to, you know, eventually watch part three whenever that eventually comes out. Main character, uh, Timothy Chalamet, he killed it. And Austin Butler, his character, crazy. But yeah, great movie. I really recommend you guys watch it. Usually when it comes to like big movies, I would just wait a while and just watch it on like the legal websites. But now nah, this one, I'm glad I went to the movie theater and experienced it. All right, y'all. Saturday night, I'm currently getting ready to watch the Lakers game right now. It's the Lakers versus the Nuggets. But yeah, speaking of the Lakers game, y'all remember when I was watching like the Lakers and Clippers the other night? That was annoying. I turned off the game after Norman Powell hit that buzzer beater ending the third quarter because I was like, oh, they up by 20. They're not coming back. Boom, I turned the game off. I learned about the next morning. Lakers win. 21 point comeback. LeBron James outscored the Clippers. So yeah, missed a good game. That, that that's that's the most annoying one. But yeah, uh basically just spent the whole day uh just updating the website. So this is what the website is gonna be looking like tomorrow. All the pieces. We got two pages. But yeah, that's about it. But yeah, just about to be chilling for the rest of the night. Oh, now you're on camera, you gonna relax. Motherfucker, keep doing what you're doing. Why the fuck my couch all the way in the corner? Huh? Why is the rug crooked? What happened? <laughs> Paul. Paul. Oh this is what's for dinner. We have a grilled pork rice dish right here. Yeah. One of my favorites to get. And we have balkal. This is like a, basically a beef stew with like some vegetables. And we have pho uh, to go as well. Morning, y'all. It is Sunday. Literally four minutes from the drop. What do y'all think is going to sell out first? Damn, only really 100 people on the site. 106 before even 12, yeah. It's you think Blue Zipper or you think Jeans? I know it's going for the Zipper for sure. The Zipper was on the second sli uh, slide, though, so they're going to take a while to get to it. Well, no, no, it's on the first slide. I think. <clears throat> I think the blue zip up. I think the jeans. Jeans, they need to read into it. Motherfuckers not gonna read. I don't think motherfuckers gonna read. <laughs> yeah, watch somebody buy a carabiner for Well, yeah, I'm thinking, all right, Nikki thinks blue zip up. I would think, I would say, I'm gonna say blue swirly jeans will be the first thing sold out. 
200 people on the site exactly right now. One minute left before I hit the save button to turn off the password to the website. Dang, this is the longest one minute ever, bro. What the fuck? All right, who's there? All right, website is now open. About 300 people got onto the site right now. Numbers are kind of rising. Everything's there. First thing sold. What was the first thing? I'll be getting orders right now. It's slow right now. But I'm getting like notifications on my phone about the real thing. But yeah, 300 people on the site already. Oh, Jack, what was the first order? Oh, let's look at what was the first order. First order was from Tran Chan. What? Swirlies Cream Details. Wow. Size small. Wow, I knew it. Pieces are sold out, as y'all can see. We bought the double layer. All right, y'all. Everything's sold out. But yeah, that's it. Shouts out to you guys. Congrats to anybody who was able to get something that they wanted. And now we're preparing for the flannel release in like two, three weeks. So yeah, rollout of that should start probably later this week or early next week. I'm also about to start asking people what's their size and like our wide leg shorts. I'm gonna put a side chart on the Instagram and then have people vote on it because I'm about to start ordering the bulk for that and have those pre-made ready for the guys in like one to two months. I'm ordering it early so I can save money on shipping because usually I ship everything by air, but I'm gonna ship by boat this time so I can save a couple thousand dollars. So exciting times. All right, what up y'all? It's uh, nighttime right now, around like 6, 7 p.m. About to go get some dinner. Currently about to go get some Burger King. I don't know about you guys, but lately, like, as I got older, I started realizing that Burger King burgers, like Whoppers and all that, they kind of top tier. Other than like, say like a Shake Shack, you know, I'm from the South. I would say in and out but you know, that's Texas, California, stuff like that. But from what I can control, I think Burger King is really good. All right, yo, bag secured. Took like an hour though, but it is what it is, you know, nighttime, fast food, you know, lines get busy. Are you okay? All right, it's a rainy, gloomy day, but we're about to go ship out the orders from yesterday's sample sale. After that, I'm gonna go grocery shopping, and I think that's how I end the vlog. So, real life, realistic type of week. So, let's get to it. The worst thing about wearing baggy, swirly sweats during the rain is shit gets soaked. Wear rouses right now. Uh, don't really even know what we need for groceries, but I decided I'm gonna make some beef quesadillas. So that's what we're gonna eat today for lunch and dinner. We got the lettuce. She just grabbed onions. We're gonna get the lean beef to be healthier, 93%. Basic carb balanced tortillas. We grabbed taco seasonings. Now lastly, the cheese. This right here is a top five chip ever, all time. Watch Nikki's onion cutting skills. While I prep the other stuff. But yeah, gonna cook the onions first and then just cook it with salt and pepper and then after that I'm just throwing in the beef. Once I move y'all, I'm gonna have a proper kitchen, better lighting. About to be back on the grind because I'm ready to move now. I got my fucking shit leaking over there by my vanity. And there's like rainy, gloomy weather outside. It feels like the worst in here. So humid in here. There's never no lighting. You wake up in the morning and it's pretty dark already. Dark like it's already like four or five o'clock, so can't do much really. So yeah, about to grind now. It's only March right now. Um, like I said, me and Nikki are planning our trip to go to Seattle in like two weeks. Uh, already trying to um, go like apartment hunting. We have like two in mind that we're gonna go to right now. Yeah, should be exciting. With this place, I'm getting it for such a good deal. You know, when I go to Seattle and all that, or wherever else I'm moving, I'm probably gonna be paying double for what I'm paying right now, and I just hope it's all worth it. Just saying it's uh, it's gonna be worth it because the amenities, and I I see it, like, you know, like a gym, dog park, whatever. But like over here, is this thing that carries here is like the price and like the office area. But I feel like it's about time I have my own room and like designated for business and one just designated for like pleasure and stuff like that. To eat with the quesadilla, we're also making like yellow rice. Cook the onions to the like golden brownish kind of. Now about to just throwing the meat right there. Taco seasoning. 
quesadilla meat is finished. Now it's time to make the quesadillas. We got the quesadilla, put a little bit of meat on the side and some onions, this is for you. I feel like a lot of onions. Extra cheese for your fat ass. All right, y'all, finally, a home-cooked meal, yellow rice, some lettuce on the side, and a little quesadilla tacos or whatever you want to call them. You are insane. I think I'm sadistic. You're We're watching the movie Miller's Girl, and I'm also watching the Clippers and the Bucks game. Shut up. All right, guys, that's like the end of my realistic week in my life. I enjoyed making this video because I remember back in the day when I would do vlogs, I would tend to like just do stuff out of the ordinary just for like the content. But this one, I feel like everything I had to do, I did. And like I said, it was like a realistic week in my life. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. The vlog will be coming soon because, you know, like I said, I'm going to Seattle and that should be a fun trip. And then right after that Seattle trip, I'm coming home and I need to start packing up orders for like the flannels. And because I think I will release the flannel on the 15th instead of the 22nd. So a little bit earlier, I just got to come home. And, you know, whenever I get home on like Monday, Tuesday, that's when I'm going to ship everything out. But again, shout out to you guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. You have a good rest of y'all week. Peace.